It is dawn here in Weathersfield, uh, outside the Wendy's here on uh, Silas Dean at the border to Rocky Hill. Uh, you got your Wendy's there, and you got your medical center with your doctors and nurses, such and such going to start a new series today called Alma Mater. Uh, that's A-L-M-A, -A, second word, M-A-T-E-R, Alma Mater. Been talking about the boys, it's about time I talk about the girls. So where better to start here at dawn as little boys rise up in bed than Wendy's. I met Wendy in a fantasy and romance class in 1982, the fall. Um, she sat across from me. Uh, we were in a circle, big circle with the professor at the forefront of the class, at, uh, in the circle too, and we were a big circle. I was on one side of the room, while this beautiful, uh, five foot two, uh, chestnut brown hair, and mild curls down to the shoulder, with piercing green eyes that I can make out across the room. And a little Mrs. Beasley nose with freckles that one would notice when she'd vainly put on her glasses, reading glasses. She would bop in with a friend every class. She had a friend in class. And she struck me immediately because she was so cute and so adorable. But something told me there was kind of... She didn't have the Hannah Bear looks that a lot of white high school and college guys might notice. Uh, the Amy Schumer type, the, uh, you know, uh, Miranda Lambert kind of look. No, she was, she was, you know, uh, small and short and petite, but there was a fire in her that I wanted to explore, and that really kind of tempted me. Um... So there we sat day after day in fantasy and romance class, listening to Arthurian legends and, you know, uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland and stuff like this. And in a lot of literature classes at the time, I don't know today, but they would be full of a lot of... Uh, a lot of young women because you know, young women didn't do anything you know they got a college degree but you know they were kind of Hillary Clinton you know you know stand by my man and you know let's promote him um, so the, the I guess the easy classes for them and classes they enjoyed because they enjoyed literature and reading were uh, literature classes but they would never talk and they would never opine an opinion. But for me, literature was a passion and it was something that I really enjoyed. So in all of my literature classes, I used to really impress the girls in the class because I was into the classes I took because I was taking it because I wanted to take the class. And so I was always full of questions always full of, you know, um, uh, questions and, for the most part, answers <laughs> when the professor nobly tried, certainly in this class, <laughs> to try to get any response out of 
any student except for a vacant stare. Um, I think the professor in this class even got to the point where, you know, you know, uh, you know, it just so sullen and quiet were the students, respectful, but just, uh, you know, no thoughts. So he even once said, you know, it's just, and this is where students raise their hands and answer the question, or at least promote you know, you know, try to answer the questions, okay? Anyway, so class after class, I would stare at this beautiful young woman across from me. And after a few classes, realizing that I was not just a, a lunk, you know, to use a present day term, that I actually had a brain and I had opinions and, you know, some sort of uh, personality, if you will, um, she started staring back at me, too. <laughs> so, this went on and 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 on until one time, after class, I got up the nerve being a virgin then, to actually speak to this gorgeous, unbelievably attracted, cute woman in Bermuda shorts. <laughs> and so I approached her one time when she was free of some girlfriend. You know, that was that was another thing with Wendy. She was yeah, that's one of the reasons I held back. She was always with a girlfriend. You know, there was always, you know, there was always safety in numbers. But one time after class, I, I noticed her, you know, after class, alone, headed to wherever. So I went after her. And uh, I I offered, uh, you know, we I introduced myself. We introduced each other. And I said... Um, how about uh, lunch? Have you had lunch yet? No, I haven't had lunch yet. Oh, uh, how about lunch? You know, I'll buy you lunch. We'll go over to Student Union or something like that. She's there, uh, uh, no, I got a class right now. Uh, you know, but thanks anyways. And I said, okay, maybe uh, some other time. She's there, yeah, great. So that was that. And uh, I kind of saw it as a blow-off, <laughs> my male pride, and uh, time went on. Class, 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 class. Finally, um, after one class, I just, had to, I just had to get in touch with this woman. I made it look like I was r running into her, we were running into each other on campus. And I said, hey, uh, you know, uh, how you doing? Yes, yeah, the class is awful, ain't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, that class, that's, you know, it's, that's awful. It's that perfect. Yeah, it's, it's a professor. Um, I said, uh, how about, uh, you know, well, uh, I forget what meal it was, um, lunch or breakfast. I said, hey, how about, you know, uh, I, uh, I treat you to that uh, breakfast, lunch, slash, you know, food, coffee. Uh, she said, uh, no, 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 uh, you know, I'm busy. I said, oh, okay, um, okay, uh, thought you might be interested. She said, well, yeah, that's nice, but you said some other time, um, and it's not some other time. Uh, I said, oh, okay, fine. So I left it at that, and I left it for the rest of the semester, for the most part, I left it at that, and never did get in touch with her. Uh, in whatever way. Um, about a semester later, uh, I was on campus one Friday night, and I was coming home from work. I was working at a drugstore in a nearby town, Swiss Vale, um, uh, at the uh, Revco in Swiss Vale. And uh, I was coming home to my apartment on campus at the University of Pittsburgh. And for some strange reason, I thought I'd stop by at uh, Barney's. I think it was called Barney's at the time. 
uh, right on the main uh, uh, street in, on the campus. And it's a bar and a saloon. And I stopped by. And I, for, I don't know why. I never did that. But I did t- that night. And I went and I sat down. And, you know, I just, you know, sat down. There's two women at the bar. And there's a bunch of guys in a booth. So I sit down. And who do I sit down next to? I look up. It's Wendy. <laughs> two or three stools down from me at the bar. And she keeps, she's, of course, with her security blanket, her girlfriend. And, uh, you know, first I play it coy because, not because I'm, you know, proud or anything. No, 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 no. I was thinking, you know, how do I, you know, meet her? How do I, you know, how do I get something started here? So I, I know it was easy because after like a minute after I sat down, Wendy starts tapping her girlfriend on the shoulder and kind of, you know, pointing towards me and, you know, <laughs> nodding her head towards me as if to say, yeah, that's him. That's him. That's the one. That's the one, you know, I, I've been telling you about and that fantasy. Now, I did not hear her say these things, but, you know, I mean, even a virgin college freshman can pretty much understand what's being said here. Um, So that, of course, gave me all the confidence and pride I needed to uh, approach these two girls at the... uh, And... uh, I'm there. Hey, Wendy, how are you? She's there. Hey, William, uh, nice to see you again. How are classes? She's oh, it's great. It's wonderful. It's a, and I know she had like a sorority kind of uh, sweater on. And I asked her about it. She said, oh, I'm a tri delt. And uh, oh, I said, oh, uh, try and do it. I a sorority. I, I think it's over there on Carnegie Mellon. And it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and do it, I later learned, is a uh, kind of an exclusive sorority, sort of uh, high class women from, or high class families. Um, and the, the sorority, the, the main thrust of the sorority is to do good socially and social programs and things like that. Anyways, I digress. So we start talking and uh, her girlfriend moves to this table with all these guys in like black and white, like black pants and white shirts. (laughs) I didn't, I thought they were like the help at the bar. I didn't know, you know, but she moves to their table. And, you know, they all start, you know, chatting. Everybody's drunk, of course. I'm the only one sober here, you know. So they, she goes to their table, and they start chatting. I'm up, you know. It's, you know. So I get a chance to talk to Wendy, you know. And she's drunk. And she, you know, lets me know, you know, I like you. <laughs> it's like, you know. And I said, oh, that's nice. I like you, too. It's... I said, why don't we get out of here, grab a six-pack down the street, and go back to my apartment. I have a place here in town. She's, oh, no, 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 no. That's like, uh, she's there. Let me introduce you to my friends. I want you to meet my friends. It's like, I'm like, oh, okay, who are your friends? I, I think I've seen that girl around with you. But, no, 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 that, look at I got uh, my friends. She invites me to this table with these guys. And, you know, her friends, you know, her, I guess her male friends, okay? It's, you know, so, oh, I, not only girlfriends, I got guy friends too. And, you know, they're from such and such a fraternity. I'm like, oh, great. And it's, <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't help but laugh then, 
um, because <laughs> it was like these guys were like modeled to 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 suit her because none of the guys that she was with was taller than her. <laughs> They were all about her height. No, you know, none of them, like, you know, were beyond her or above her, if you want to put it that way. And they were all like, like five, two, five, three kind of guys, all dressed alike. And you got these two, you know, sorority sisters out on the town with these boys, I guess. Everybody is a virgin. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it was a no-brainer, okay? So, you know, she, I guess Wendy wanted to show me that, you know, she could deal with the guys, that, you know, she was not a virgin. So, she's a, so she grabs one of the boys and, let's dance. Oh, I want to dance with you. You're the one I want to dance with. Okay, so make me jealous, I guess. I guess. So they go out, and they're both drunk, and they're dancing and stuff like that. And so, so I, uh, <laughs> you know, I go over, and I cut in. I said, I asked the guy, I said, do you mind if I cut in? It's, I don't remember his fun. Maybe he just fell on the floor or ran to the bathroom and throw up or whatever. But he, he just disappeared somewhere in the midst of, uh, you know frat row or somewhere he you know disappeared into the background and i started dancing with wendy all right and she's like she's barely able to stand and uh you know i i've had just one beer myself in me and i haven't finished it because you know I, i'm i don't care about the you know beer the only long neck i want to suck on is wendy's neck you know so so you know again i dance a little with her then i make the proposition to go back to my place and i was like well you know it's I don't have a ride, you know, we don't have, you don't have a car. I said, well, it's not far from here. We can walk. It's like, it's a, no, no, these guys will take me home. It's like, I said, all right, Wendy, <laughs> you know, and, and being inebriated, she could have easily, I mean, her defenses were down. So she could have said yes very easily to my proposition, uh, but she didn't, and uh, I took it as that, and uh, you know, wanting to stay in the Greek life, I guess, um, and she did. So I, you know, I just gathered my things and took off, um, and that was it. I mean, me and Wendy never talked again. I never approached her again. Never saw her at a bar. Never in the, the Greek life. Although there were times I saw her in uh, various literature classes um, on campus. And uh, it's interesting because in the literature classes, um, I would walk in and... and she, she always acted as if I had picked the class because I knew she would be in it, you know, which kind of is sort of insulting, <laughs> you know. I mean, there were, I can remember two classes where, you know, whatever semester, I walked in and she was there with her, you know, sorority sister next to her. And she would just like drop her head like, oh, I can't get rid of them. <laughs> I can't shake them, you know. What does it take to, to, to lose this guy on campus? You know? Alma mater. Sunrise. Here on Silas Dean Highway. Waiting for the Wendy's to open. <laughs>